guys, I'm actually doing a quick upper body workout in this video. As you can see right here, I'm actually warming up full five pound plate, doing a few rotator cuff internal external rotations, basically make sure my shoulders nice and warmed up for I start my bench. You guys can tell, I'm gonna start off with 45 on each side, but of course, change up this week. I decided to go ahead and use some chains because I'm at, at home, and now my marriage is working at home, and go ahead and hit this boy off with some chains. First, one thing you will notice is that the chains do make a difference, especially the heavier that you go. Because normally I can rip this out like really quick or a lot easier than this, but right now you can see I'm having this little bit of difficulty. And of course, now I put two plates in here. No, I can rip out five to six reps with no problem. As you can see here, I'm struggling to get three to four reps off of the chains on there. And mind you, it may only be like 15 pounds on each side, but it feels like I got an extra 50 on there. So now I say, okay, skip that. Chainsaw, let me just try to rep off 265 for a couple reps. Knowing I can get this for three reps easily, and here I'm struggling on my third rep. So, yeah, the chain took a lot of gas out of me. So, I'll go ahead and crack it and decide to do drop the weight back down to 205 with the chains on each side of it. And so, let me go ahead and do this to failure almost. So, I'll say, you know what, let me just go ahead and do some more reps. And then I said, okay, let me just do this on a plate. So 45, good chance on each side. Now mind you, I'll start going off fast. But in between the stuff, you know, let me switch it up by doing some rest pause reps in here. You see that pretty soon. To really get that real stretch and that burn going. So now I'm starting to slow down. Get that pause for the cause, back up. Pause for the cause, back up. Pause for the cause, and back up. Course, to balance everything out, I want to get some back in. So, as you can see here, I decided to go ahead and go into barbell bent over rolls. And you can tell just from the sets that I'm doing today that I decided not to go too heavy because of the chain, making it a lot heavier than it normally is just to place on there. So, I actually I bumped the weight up to just 185 plus 30 pounds from chains, only because that, well, which will now be 215, I actually felt like 245. So, yeah, I kind of kept it just right there. And so you know, let me squeeze it up, get my reps in. And even here, I dropped the weight because my form's starting to get tacky. So I'm like, you know, let me let ego go ahead, let it go, get my reps in. And of my last set is to do the overhand grip, aka Dorian style. Okay, at this point, I'm now going ahead, decided to go ahead and do incline. As you can tell, looking at this video, right at this point, I've already gotten tired, and I even have incline bench set up slightly higher than a standard incline bench. So it's actually in between a regular incline bench and a shoulder press, and I basically did this to really, really hit the upper part of my chest. And as you can tell, right now I have 185 on the bar plus chain and it feels like I have two plates plus chain so yeah that extra incline makes a huge difference but it really burns the effects Okay, now I'm actually going to hex bar, aka trap bar, bent over rolls, 
and it's still kind of getting more of width, but it's also getting the thickness of the back as well. And it's also going to hit the back a little bit lower than the standard barbell bent over row. As you can definitely tell just from looking at the way my back is getting flexed by doing this exercise. So of course I'm hitting the upper part of the chest and now I'm going to the lower part of my pecs and my triceps by doing some dips, mixed in of course with some pull-ups. So for the first set I decided to go ahead and do body weight, dips, and as you can see here it's with the spinning trainer. Then right from that I decided to go right into pull-ups. So you know I jump off of that, grab the pull-up bars and start doing my pull-ups. So I decided to go ahead and get a good warm set in before going to the weight sets. you guys see I had to finish off my packs by doing some dumbbell chest flies as you can tell I like to do a little twist at the top to really really squeeze the pecs on the way up and then come down nice control to really squeeze them on the way down Now I decided to go ahead after doing chest slides, do back flies, really get the upper back as well as a little bit more rear delts involved. Okay, now to finish up my pecs, I'm actually I'm doing a variation of a handstand push-up with my swing trainer. As you can tell, I did the standard yoga downward facing dog into a three-legged dog, and then decided to go straight into a handstand and now doing my push-ups. And ladies and gentlemen, let you know it takes time for just to get to this point. But eventually, with some practicing time, you will be able to do this. So start off with just some incline push-ups and work your way up, and eventually you can do the handstands. So last but not least, I go back to back, and this time I decided to keep my spin trainer out, and now finish up my back by hitting some back rolls with the spin trainer. It looks really, really easy, but guys, trust me, at the end of your workout, this really, really burns. All right, that's the end of my video. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.